uh, I hope uh, that um, uh, it will vote to uh, ask for an extension of Article 50. Um, some people suggesting, have suggested revoking Article 50, but I think that might be a step too far just at the moment. And then we have um, at least the time to try to find a, an acceptable compromise, maybe keeping us in the single market and the customs union. The trouble about doing that, the so-called Norway solution, is it, uh, it's better than, we are, than where we are with um, uh, the present deal. But the trouble about that is we really do become um, uh, those who have to follow everybody else's um, rules and doesn't, don't actually have a place at the table. Or I think um, I increasingly feel that um, the only other option is to go back to the people and put the arguments, put the question in front of them once again. Uh, it's not something, not, not, not a remark that I make with uh, the greatest pleasure. The whole sorry shambles began with the decision to call a referendum in order to try to manage the English nationalist right wing of the Conservative Party. And uh, we can see what's happened. It may be that we can only end this divisive and impoverishing argument by holding another referendum. That may prove to be the only and the best way for Britain to avoid an act of terrible self-harm that would betray the aspirations of so many, not least the younger citizens uh, of this country. Uh, I think that is the patriotic thing to do. Uh, and uh, I hope that even though the time is against us, we can still find the leadership and the courage to do that. Otherwise, I think we're going to have an awful lot of explaining to do to our children and their children in the years ahead. Thank you very much.